Good morning. I'm a few minutes early today, so I hope y'all don't mind. My name is Brie. I am the owner and artist at Upcycled by Brie, and I have a fun thrift haul for you today. As you hop on, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. I am streaming from StreamYard again this week, so I'm on Facebook and YouTube. I will try to make sure I keep those comments all organized for you if I'm answering questions and whatnot. Also, all of these items here behind me are already loaded up on my site. So if you're new here, go ahead and head over to upcycledbybree.com and you can shop now. Hurry though, things go fast. And if you order multiple things, I will combine shipping down as much as I can and refund any extra. So I think those are the rules and we can get started. Um, I will not lie. Shopping has been a little rough lately. Has anybody else felt that? Like... We went to so many different thrift stores um, in order to come up with enough stuff for one haul. It's just been kind of like empty or prices have been really high. So I'm not even going to try to remember where everything came from because <laughs> we went to so many places. But I have a little bit of a holiday fall haul going here. A little like cottage core fall stuff. Really, really cute. So we'll get to that. First up, I've got these enamel chili mugs. Never seen these before. They're super big. Definitely would hold a whole serving of chili. And then the other side is blank. So I was also thinking they could transfer over into like holiday decor. Um, set of two, I'm going to go ahead and sell them together because, you know, most people don't eat chili alone. You make enough for multiple people. <laughs> they were $2 each and I have the set up at $12.95. Yeah, Kyla said that it's been bare when she's been shopping too. Oh, and Rhonda got free spindles. Yes, girl. Nothing better than free. Thanks for the reminder on that too, Rhonda. I am running 30% off my salvaged wood collection right now. Um, no code needed. So if you guys want to add some salvaged wood into your thrifting treasures, now would be a great time to do that. I did pick up this red bunt pan. It was $2.98, purple tag at Thrift World, and I have it listed up for $10.95. I love the ones that have this little bit of different texture. I like to mix them in with the more traditional bunt pans. Um, this is still a bunt pan, right? It's still for cake. It's just a different shape. Or is this a jello mold? I don't know. You guys tell me. <laughs> I call them, I call them bunt pans. Um, I do have a Goodwill bins near me, uh, Roger's family, Little Blue Fiber Mill. That's a fun name. Um, it just asked. I do have a bins near me. I went one time before with Sammy, and I we didn't we kind of struck out, but I need to go again. It's a little overwhelming. <laughs> Stick a tree, and it says Kyla, right? <laughs> That's so funny. Love this Santa guy, Kyla. Those enamel mugs would look cute with a tree. <laughs> You're not even wrong is um, solid wood. He was $1.98 at Thrift World and I have him listed up at $11.95. I love these tall skinny Santas. They always sell really well for me and I like to find them at different heights and then make like little vignettes with multiples. Um, and if you're like a store owner or you have a booth space, those make really fun vignettes when you have them stacked at different levels mixed in with your Christmas decor. All right, we got a couple people shopping already this morning. Looks like Dee Dee picked up a couple of things. I'll show those next. She grabbed this beautiful ornate frame, and I actually got this from an estate cleanout. So I paid zero dollars for this guy, and I can't believe somebody didn't buy him at the estate sale. Isn't that gorgeous, Dee Dee? What are you going to display on this? It's got this little shelf. I've never seen one like this before. And I personally love the black and the gold together, just as is. Are you going to paint it, Dee Dee? So that has sold for $34.95. These little guys, I have picked up a rose before. The brass and comber, comber, copper combo. I think I need more coffee. <laughs> But I have never found a set of them. So we were at God's Storehouse in Topeka after the estate clean out. And they have all of those fun bins underneath their clothes. And these were in the bins. So I dug through. I found several here. I went ahead and listed these up as a set of four. I paid $5 for the set of four. And they're up at $19.95. And they actually looked really pretty with that frame, Dee Dee. <laughs> 
I had them sitting up there. I just love these. I think these would transition well season to season too. Like you could use them in the fall because of the warm tones, but since they're flowers, you could use them more in the spring and summer too. Bonnie's on. Good morning, Bonnie. Beauty, look how pretty these look with the frame. Just saying. <laughs> She's probably still over shopping. I'm not even sure if she can hear me talking to you. Okay, found this cute little crock. Now it does have an American like flag scene on one side, which obviously is not the right season. And I don't, it's primitive, it's okay. But if you simply just spin this guy around, it's a gorgeous cream color and it has a lid. So I went ahead and picked it up for a dollar. Uh, I have list, listed up at 9.95. And I was thinking also, if you don't like the flag, you could paint this and um, do a fun stencil or something on it. But for a dollar, great price. This cast iron Santa doorstop was a fabulous find. He was $2.98 at Thrift World. I have him listed up at $16.95. He's missing just a little paint off of his nose, which I think is great. And I also, I even thought about taking a little sandpaper and uh, making him a little bit chippier, but I'll let y'all decide if you want to do that. <laughs> uh. Oh, see, Lori loves the flag croc. And I, did, I thought about painting that one, but some people really love that primitive stuff. So I decided to leave it. All right, the junk fairy brought this over and she thought at first it was a flower frog which it kind of does look like a flower frog, except for there's no pokies in it. Um, she said she looked it up online and figured out eventually that it was an ashtray and pretty valuable. I listed it up at $34.95. It's super unique. Um, but of course, you could do a lot of different things with this. I know ashtrays aren't a common, as common thing anymore, but you could definitely use this for other reasons. <laughs> Lori said her whole house is primitive in Americana. Well, maybe you need that crock in your life. It might've already sold, I don't know. <laughs> this Santa mug, I like him. He looks very, um, very nonchalant, just kind of, you know, stoic. And same with this guy, not too excited, just pretty chill. And I love the fact that the red on them is not like bright, bright in your face red. I love holiday decor, but I'm not the biggest fan of bright red. It makes me a little anxious. So when I can find a muted red like this, I like it better. It looks like this is JC Penny by Susan Winget, 2004. These are cute. I'm selling them as a combo. I paid $5 for the set and they're up at $19.95. Ooh, a lipstick holder. That would be a great idea for that brass um, ashtray piece. I like that. Uh, this would be good for milk and cookies. Santa would know, of course, that they were for him. All right. This beauty has been at Thrift World for, I don't know, I think as long as I've lived here, seven weeks now. And I keep looking at her and keep looking at her. Finally, orange tags were half off. I paid $2 for her. She's up at $12.95. And she is beautiful. She's got some great patina mixed metal brass and copper i cover your little angel ears chopped a couple of these up last year into pieces <laughs> and salvaged the copper and stuff to repair some decor boards because the angels weren't selling so i bought another one naturally but i have faith that this gal is going to find a beautiful home and not get salvaged <laughs> I really do like them though. And sometimes you can find them at different heights. They're gorgeous for farmhouse decor and cottage decor. I have faith she will sell. This Christmas tree is different. It's got a lot of texture and potential, which is why I picked it up. Um, it was $1.95 half off at Thrift World. And I have it up at $14.95 read description. Um, Whenever one of my items says read description, make sure you go down and read to see what I'm going to do to it. This one's going to get a fun painted um, makeover. I'll do a little white wax or something to add the little snow back on, but I'm not digging the colors. She's going to be beautiful when she's done, though. 
Let me know. Drop a comment. Have y'all even thought about buying holiday stuff yet? Christmas stuff. I know a lot of us have already bought like our fall and Halloween decor. Am I jumping the gun here? Or are we ready? All right. I found two books. These were also half off that day. I paid $2 each for them. They're good red books. They're both hymnals. So again, holiday vignettes is what I have in mind. And then this, I have this one at $8.95 and also $8.95 on the books. Good morning, Vicki. How are you? I just got your whatnot order sent out yesterday. Hey, if y'all will do me a favor real quick while I'm thinking about it. I've got 65 people watching. If you will hit the thumbs up button for me or the like button, I would appreciate that so much. And if you want to send this video over to a friend or share it out in any groups that you're able to see how many people we can get on this morning, I appreciate you so much. All right. I'm hearing Christmas year round anytime and Sherry's on. Good morning. I listed up four bundles of this wheat. It's so pretty. It's a nice height, about 20, I think it was 20 inches or so. And I got them about $2 a piece last year. I got a ton of them and I did have them. I was using them around different places for holiday decor, for fall decor. And I just decided I didn't need so many this year. So I listed up four of them. I think I have four more, or six more. <laughs> and they're $14.95 each. Of course, you could take these apart um, and use them in multiple places. But I love the look of the big bundle of wheat together. And I am all about dried floral, natural florals right now, opposed to like plastic greenery and such. I think it's a much more high end look. And don't get me wrong, I still buy greenery and, and um, faux florals, but I'm digging the naturals. All right, Ophelia just picked up this. Twisty candlestick. I found one of this, um, excuse me, I found one of these last week and Dee Dee picked it up. <laughs> I got excited. And then Alyssa was walking towards me this week with this one. This little knob here rotates and pushes the taper holder up. So she just grabbed that up for $9.95. And I believe this was a couple of dollars. And she also, I noticed, purchased that beautiful chippy black storage cabinet that was on this week's edited video. So thank you very much, Ophelia. Angie's here from Japan. Good morning, Angie. It's been a while since I picked up an ornate corbel. These are a little more um, ornate and like French country than my style, but I do love painting them. And this one has a lot of detail, so it's going to be beautifully um, wet distressed and waxed. I'm thinking aviary and dark wax on this one to pull in a little more green into my holiday stuff. I found a lot of red, but not much green this week. Um, let's see, I paid $5 for this. So I paid up a little bit, but it's big. It's bigger than my head. And after it's all painted up, it will be $22.95. It does have a hanger here on the back of it, so you could hang it on the wall. I like to set these on a shelf upside down. Um, ooh, if you've got some really big books, this one would be great for a single bookend. Uh, Denise, thank you. She said the black cabinet was gorgeous. I love Sweet Pickens Milk Paint so much. It provides such a pretty, authentic, chippy look. I grabbed these from an estate clean out as well. They are Christmas tree candles. It does look like there's maybe one missing. I'm not sure. The box has been taped closed again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I bet there was 20 in here. I think there's 19 now. Um, but they used to actually put these on Christmas trees and light them, which is crazy to me. Sounds like a fire waiting to happen. But I figured these would be nostalgic for a few people. I have them up at $6.95. Please don't light your Christmas trees on fire. <laughs> oh, Angie said it's 12 a.m. in uh, Japan and she couldn't sleep, so she's here. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully the lull of my voice will put you back to sleep. I found this adorable little, like, tulip scalloped shape bell. It was $2.00. And I started looking at the tag. I was about to take the tag off. And then I realized it says on it, Dollar Tree distrib Distribution. So this was a Dollar Tree item at some point. We don't get cool brass bells at Dollar Tree anymore. 
Very dainty though, very adorable. It is up at $8.95. And bells are a great seller for me. I picked this guy up. This is pretty unique. Um, it was $6 at Thrift World, so I paid up a little bit on it. But when I looked it up, they were selling for quite a bit online. I obviously, you know, don't recommend using this <laughs> at all, but just for decor. I love the handle, though. Like, how, how fancy is that? Can you imagine pouring something, coffee or tea or something, out of this for your guests? It might actually hurt your wrist a little. Um, but I thought that would be cute. Again... I'm digging right now the black and gold combo. I think it's like because it's fall, the gold is like calling my name. All right, let's talk about this guy. <laughs> Little fun story behind him. So after a workout class the other night, I stopped by a Goodwill that I had never been to before. And it was an hour before close. Their decor shelves were a little empty, uh, but they had some amazing clothing. So I kind of browse through the decor. I found this guy. Where are my giraffe lovers at? He's got red eyeballs, mixed metal, brass, and copper, and then like his little giraffe. I, I can never remember what these are called. Actually look more like snail antenna to me. I think they're supposed to be like right here and like straight up and down. <laughs> so he is funny. And then he's got like his little seal legs in the front. <laughs> He's big though. He's 16 inches tall. It was $9.99, but it was so unique. I know it was so unique. I was like, I have got to get him. He's up at $59.95. I couldn't find a lot of information on him, but when I found him, I was standing there in checkout. I snapped a picture of him and sent him over to Alyssa, um, the junk fairy. And she sent me back a picture of the same giraffe in a weird and unique finds group, right? And this chick on this group was like, hey, look at this giraffe. He's cool. Should I get him? And everybody in the comments was like, you should get him. So she sent me that. And I'm like, I'm part of that group too. So I got into the group and I took, I sent my picture and the messages and the comments like I got him. And then I got eaten alive <laughs> by people. They're like, how dare you run back and snag him out from underneath the original poster, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, y'all, it was a 100% coincidence. I actually sent that lady a message on Facebook because she, she lives in Kansas City, obviously, and um, asked if she wanted him and she never responded. So he's up for sale here. <laughs> oh. But quite the story, quite the story. I went in on the post and I was like, you guys, I was not trying to snag it. Like it was a coincidence. And then they, they turned our comments and stuff off. <laughs> oh. This beautiful little red pan, something different, but I thought this would be cute for a centerpiece um, or to use in your kitchen around the holidays, like for fruit or whatever, since it's, again, that beautiful, like muted primitive red that I love. I paid, it was half off, $2.50 for this, and it is up at $13.95. It's heavy, thick, heavy metal. What are y'all up to this weekend? Anything exciting going on? I'm going to head out to the Ren Fest, the Renaissance Festival after this. I'm excited. I'm going to real quick drop the collection, um, the Salvaged Wood Collection in the comments. Again, if you're just hopping on, Salvaged Wood Collection is 30% off until 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. Central Standard Time. Okay, sorry, bear with me a second. It's so weird to be live off my computer and to be able to comment on my phone. <laughs> okay, so there's the Salvage Wood Collection for Facebook. 30% off, no code needed. Um, when you hit checkout, it will apply the discount for you. And I know people are getting ready to do their holiday crafts, so I figured this would be a great time to run a little sale. All right. There we go. Got it dropped in both places. This, <laughs> Alyssa's not on this morning, I don't think. I haven't seen her comment. She drove clear up here to go to an estate sale that ended up being a bust, unfortunately. But I did find this really pretty, like, smoky. 
apothecary jar. I gave it a wash, so it's got a little bit of water inside still, but it's so pretty. Love the shape on it. Love the color. It was half off day. I paid $2 for it. It is up at $14.95. If you have an apothecary jar collection, that would be a great one to add. I have two teal jars today. No lids on these, but teal jars nonetheless. They were $3 each. They're up at $14.95 each. One is a number one and one is a number five. And I did put that in the listing because I know some people collect certain numbers. You guys are quiet this morning. It's okay. I'll do all the talking. <laughs> Found some more light wood spoons. These were a combination. I think I picked one up here, one up there, one up over there. Um, this is the light wood spoon lot D and it is $8.95 for the set of four. Nice staggered heights and all light colored wood. I found a cow creamer at Salvation Army and this is a Salvation Army that's here in Independence. It's not very great. They don't stock very often, unfortunately but I did find him. He was $3 and he's up at $12.95. I've sold a lot of these over time. Um, and he, I don't think is super old, but he is super cute. No chips or cracks. I bought my first pumpkins yesterday. I got two of those light, pretty green ones and a white one. Anybody else bought pumpkins yet? <laughs> oh, no, Suzanne's on, and she already bought the Santa mug and plate. Girl, you're not going to be in trouble. There's payment options on my site. Phew. Oh, excuse me. The basket is dusty, <laughs> but super cute. Look at the little deer on this guy. And the inside is actually really, really clean. So you could use this for a little waste basket um, or for an adorable basket to put anything in. He was $4, but worth it. And he's up at $16.95. Look, it's like, um, I don't know. What is that stuff called? I it, like, a, I don't know the, the name of it is escaping me, but I love him. Ricky asked how I'm liking my new home. It's Ricky, I think. Ricky, right? Not Ricky. Oh, I messed that one up every time. I'm sorry. I'm loving the new home. I'm loving all the extra room. And yes, I really need to get on the ball with decorating around here. Oh, it's just always so much to do. Um, Jamie Ray put up a fall home decorating video, and I watched that yesterday and was very inspired. So I'm going to get on it. Paper quilling. It might be like a paper quilling. I'm not sure what that's called but it's super neat. He's so cute. In fact, like I want a million animals made like that. Stopped by a rando garage sale, <laughs> picked up three things there. And this was one of them. I paid 10, I think $10 for all three things. So this was like 333 <laughs> and I have it up at 1995. Isn't that gorgeous? I love copper teapots, but I've never seen one like this. And it's got some great patina to it, especially right up here. Oh, goodness. Susie has an annual adult pumpkin patch all day event on September 15th. So Friday, you'll buy 30 plus pumpkins. That's a lot of pumpkins. And pumpkins are expensive this year. I think I should grow a garden next year. <laughs> I found this very unique vintage egg coddler. It does have a little damage to the lid. Of course, I think that makes it look more cool. Um, a couple little like chippies there too, but it is made in England. Pretty, pretty unique piece. I've never found one of these in the thrift store before. So I went ahead and picked it up. I've seen them in the antique mall. I paid $4 for it. It's up at $18.95. Not sure you saw the deer basket listed, Kayla. Let me check. Or was that Kayla? Oh, that was Kyla. Sorry, I've got a Kayla and a Kyla that watch. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
It's available. It should be in the shop. The oh, I'm so sorry. The, the teapot. I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> you guys are staring at me like, Brie. A uh, copper teapot. Uh, yes, I did not put it in any collections. Thank you for that. I'm about to add it in right now. Save. And now it should be in the Shop the Hall collection. If you want to refresh, it is just called Copper Teapot. It's $19.95. Sorry about that. Listing things on Shopify is not hard, but it can get a little tedious. Like to list one item, you have to enter like seven different pieces of information about it. So sometimes it slips. Oop, not finding the red bowl or the wooden spoons. Gosh, you guys. Okay. Hold on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Am I even a reseller? Oh, goodness. It's because they're not in the collection, you guys. I'm so sorry. I My phone was being a bit glitchy when I was trying to list. Okay, Cynthia, they're in the spoons are in. What red bowl? A red bowl. This one? I think this is the only bowl I have. Or are you talking about the um, red bunt pan? I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. While you guys are answering, um, so while Cynthia's answering, I'm going to keep going. This huge wooden bowl was only $350. Love that for me. Um, Lebanon Supply Company from Lebanon, Missouri. And it is Walnut. I have it up at $24.95. And I'm going to check and see if this is the bowl she was talking about. Last week when I was trying to list things for my thrift haul, there was some kind of glitch going on with the entire system on Shopify. And it was rough. This week it seems to be better, but it looks like they're still having a couple of issues. Huge wooden bowl is in the Shop the Haul collection. Okay. Do, 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 has the handles I've already showed. Are you talking, a red bowl with handles. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. Yep, that red metal bowl. I covered it with something else. Okay, let me look. I'm sorry for everybody who's not shopping and is just trying to see this junk. Heavy metal bowl is not in the collection. I'm so sorry. I don't usually mess up quite that much. I really think there was some glitch going on. Okay, it's now in the shop, the hall, and the holiday collection, Cynthia. So sorry about that. The red pan. Yep. Okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Next week, I'll do better. Um, Alyssa brought over this pretty blue enamel pot, and I have sold several of these in the past. This is a Hilt brand from Texas. It does not have the inner stuff inside. <laughs> it is $16.95. This one's really big. The ones I find are usually not so tall. We got two bird cages this week. These both came from the Junk Fairy. Um, this one was $3.50 that she paid for, and it is up at $16.95. It's got that beautiful little lacy trim around the bottom. And I love the white bird cages to transition over into fall and winter. They can feel a little springy sometimes, but I think if they're a nice neutral color, you can still definitely get away with it. You're welcome, Cynthia. Sorry about that. Looks like this guy already sold. This was another one of those garage sale items. I had a huge one last week that was copper. And now I've got a little tiny baby brass one. This one is up at $12.95. I paid around three and a half dollars for it. This would be cute with some like matches in it up on top of the mantle. And you can put your firewood and the big one underneath. <laughs> I love tiny things. All right, this board, you're like, Brie, really, you're selling this broken piece of wood? Heck yes, I am. This one is a read description item. So I am going to glue it back together and then give it some faux repairs. If you've followed me for a long time, you know my repair 
repair decor boards are one of my most favorite things to make and one of my top sellers. So it will be faux repaired. I would say probably decor only once it's got that rusty metal on it. I paid $3 for a broken piece of wood. Yes, I did, but it will be up for $24.95. I loved the um, watermarks all over this one. The patina. Found these three wooden vases in three different places, all in the same store, but they weren't together. But I went ahead and put them together as a lot of three for $16.95. Paid around five dollars for all of them this one has a little like signing on the bottom of it like etched in there this one has a little bit of wear to it i thought these would be so cute kyla say it with christmas trees in them <laughs> they look like trunks to me but i didn't put any trees in them yet i figured if somebody else wanted to diy them they can if they don't sell i might end up doing it myself also though the way they're drilled out they would look cute with some floral in them Ooh, could have made a shelf out of that. That's a good idea, that the way they broke. You're smart. Everything can be a pumpkin or a tree. Yes, ma'am. I found more shine brushes this week. These actually, okay, hooray, Cynthia. I'm glad you got them. Sorry about that. Of course, the two things you wanted weren't showing. I picked up a tote, a little shoe shine tote. I didn't get it listed yet this week, and I actually want to... Um, upcycle it a little bit. So it's sitting down there, but I went ahead and listed the shine brushes because these always go quickly. This is Polish Brush 1. It's $8.95. Pretty worn there. And then this one has a lot more of the lettering left on it, but I like them both so much. Good morning, Jane. And of course, we like to set them just in our vignettes, but if you flip them over, you can also display papers and pictures and postcards and stuff in there. And then I have, I paid $5 for that tote. And then I listed all the brushes up separately and then I'll list the tote by itself. So it was a pretty good investment in my opinion. I put all three of these little baby polish brushes together in a trio. I thought they would be cute together in a little cup or something. They are $12.95 for the set of three. I like how they're all different colors too. All righty, moving right along. This was the third item from the garage sale. It's got a little wear and tear on it. Um, I would say decor only probably, but it had some good patina on the wood. And I have sold a couple of these black metal rolling pins in the past. So I snagged it up from the garage sale and it is up at $14.95. I sold several rolling pins last week. That made me happy. <laughs> This one is um, read description. I'm going to chippy paint the handles, probably something for the holidays. Maybe red, maybe green. I don't know. We'll do some milk paint. And I am going to have a fun thrifted painted finds video up this week. <clears throat> I'll do that tree. I'll paint the tree. I'll paint the corbel. I've been trying to pick up a few more things that need painted because I've been doing a lot of reselling and listing and I need to paint. Alyssa found these. She likes to she likes to run in front of me in the thrift store and be like, oh, look what I found. Oh, look what I found. And they hand it to me. It's like you're stealing the joy of the find. <laughs> it's okay. I appreciate her because she finds a lot of things that I don't see. Um, and y'all don't mind all of these bruises all over me. These are from working out, FYI. <laughs> So don't, don't be alarmed. Um, anyways, these closed for $3 each. I have them up at $26.95. I am going to cut some wood bases for them. I love the height on these. They would fit a bottle brush tree in them really well. They're nice and wide on the top too, so you could really fit a nice little display inside of them. Sometimes the cloche shapes aren't ideal for actual displays. Or sometimes the shape of the cloche is wavier and it kind of distorts what's inside. But I stuck a couple things underneath those and you can see them very well. All right, here's the second bird cage. This one's a little bit taller. This is white bird cage two or B. I think it's B. <laughs> Oops. And it's 1995. <laughs> I thought that was going to fall all the way off. It does open from the top, which makes it easier to decorate. 
This one has a hanging hook, little wood at the top. It's got a leaf and some flowers down here. So maybe not everybody's jam, but I thought somebody might like this. I liked the polka dots. It's different. And Alyssa brought that to me, so it wasn't like I was going to say no. <laughs> this beautiful long brass container I've had in my stash a little while now. Um, and I just haven't listed it. I was thinking I was going to keep it for a display and I changed my mind. So up it goes onto the site. I paid $4 for it. It's up at $16.95. It's a long one. <laughs> and, uh, I think little white pumpkins, do, 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 do. maybe one tall candle or something in the middle. Yeah, I'm always covered in bumps and bruises. It's usually my legs because like, instead of closing a drawer with my hand, I shove it closed with the side of my leg um, and working, just constantly running into things, boxes and things. Uh, Yahoo, Cynthia got the wood based trio and she is 100% putting trees in them. I love it. Sin picks. This cute little vintage egg basket was $2. I have it up at $12.95 and you get the plastic eggs. <laughs> I was going to take them out because they look kind of cheapy, but eh, figured I'd leave them. And they have, they have actual picks on them. You could make a wreath. I found a couple of these at a, I think it was a Red Racks a couple weeks ago. And they wanted more than I'm asking here at the thrift store for them. They definitely did not come home with me. All right, a few more things here, and then I am going to wrap up just a little early today so I can go to Rin Fair. Next week, I will. Oh, no, next week is the For the Love of Junk mm -hmm. event. You guys, it is, oh my gosh, it's less than a week away. It starts Friday night. It's crazy. I'll do a pre recorded thrift haul next week. So I will paint. I'll paint next week. Found this adorable little duck, terracotta. It was $1.50. I have been trying to slow down on buying ducks because they aren't selling as fast as they used to. But she has a bonnet and she's terracotta. Couldn't help myself. She's $4.95. <laughs> and then here is another item that came from the estate sale we went to. Uh, it was $1.50 for this set. And inside are little copper heart cookie cutters. How cute are these? I don't usually see copper. I found a few copper cookie cutters, but they were like all singles. Um, this is $8.95. Here is the other vintage brass wall decor piece. This one has butterflies and flowers, and I am in love with this one. Some of the petals are slightly bent. I tried to bend them back. None of them are like at the risk of falling off or anything, but it looks like they got a little smooshed at the thrift store. Look at that patina right there. Love it. This one is also $19.95. Um, Denise, we will, um, we will be going live periodically throughout the day. Alyssa and um, Kendra are going to be there to help us. So definitely have some live footage for you. Don't know if I can commit to a time, but we'll do our best. Lori says my prices are amazing. Thank you. I really try. I really do try. So in fact, like I didn't buy so many things this week because for me to make money reselling them, I just would have had to charge you guys an arm and a leg. And I just, it's not my jam. This little Inesco, I think it's Inesco, right? Yeah. Little Inesco cow. Isn't he the sweetest little guy? <laughs> He's $8.95 and I paid a buck 50 for him. And then these guys, I don't know if I've ever found Otagiri before. These were only $2. They were in one of the bins at God's storehouse. I can't believe that it didn't break. It's in beautiful condition. Little birds on a branch. Looked these up. There was one listed for almost $200 on um, eBay, which was nuts. They were around $45, $50. I have mine up at $19.95. So if you are a reseller and that's your jam, there's still a little money to be made here. Otherwise... A heck of a deal on some otigiri. This brown insulator. I don't usually find the brown ones. Love it. Picked it up uh, for a couple bucks. It is 9 dollars 
I was trying to think, like I was sitting here looking at this one, trying to figure out how I could turn it into a pumpkin. But I don't know. I think it's great just the way it is. It'd make a really good paperweight too. Ooh, it's got a little, uh, little damage right there, which of course I love. I did look for some soda crates um, last week to work on some upcycling videos. Somebody asked for that and I couldn't find any. I'll keep hunting, but I do have a window makeover in mind for this week. Do I have the red hymnals in my pile? I do, Jane. Did you buy them? Do you want to see them? Yeah, Denise, it would be fun for y'all to be able to watch. Um, I'm sure we will be going live. I, I don't know if it'll be like the whole time, but yeah, we'll get some thrifting um, footage live. We'll do a little bit of live of us demonstrating our paint techniques and stuff we're teaching. So that's a great idea. And then hopefully next year, there will be like an online option. We just weren't really sure how to work that in this year with like the event being based mainly off of thrifting. You guys wouldn't be able to be with us thrifting. So maybe next year we can do a little portion like paid online event for, I don't know, you to watch our um, tips and technique like demonstration time. I don't know. We'll think about it more. I found another, actually, Alyssa did. Alyssa found another gaggle of geese. <laughs> it's like I don't even shop anymore. I do. I swear. I've just been striking out. Um, and I have sold one of these before. It is a little tricky to ship, but they are so neat. I uh, couldn't pass up listing this one again. It is $44.95, and I don't know what she paid for it. You're welcome, Jane. This two-toned basket, absolutely love. In fact, I sold a couple of hanging wall baskets last week. This one's a little bit bigger. I did put the dimensions in. It's a little bit deeper, I think like 11 inches deep. So if you wanted to hang it in the hallway or anything, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, it might stick out a bit. But I have been following a lady on Instagram. I think it's, oh, what is it? Blueberry. Now I got to look because I can't remember. And if y'all don't follow her, you should too. You might already. Blueberry Vintage Company. Yep, I was right. Um, but she puts her potatoes and onions in her pantry in baskets like this. And I was like, that is genius. Like, why didn't I ever think of that? I mean, I have fruit bowls and stuff, but like potato and onion in a basket hanging in your pantry, so much prettier than just like, you know, in the plastic bag. Anywho, that's what I thought of when I saw this two-toned basket and I paid $2 for it. It was on sale that day. It's up at $24.95. Here's this chick. If y'all, oops, there we go. If y'all want to go follow her, Blueberry Vintage Company. She's got a lot of followers there on Instagram. It looks like she makes really great reels. I love her reels. Okay, anywho. A little yellow pot pan. It was obviously for sale at an antique mall at some point. They wanted $15 for it. Goodwill wanted $3 for it. I have it listed up at $12.95. Love that yellow color though. Yeah, Stacy loves the Blueberry Vintage Company. Awesome. Yeah, I figured some of y'all probably follow her. Our styles aren't exactly the same, but I love her content and I, I love the way her stuff looks. Little salt blue jar here. This was, this isn't super old. There was a Made in China sticker on the bottom of it, but I thought it was super cute anyway. Throw some little white flowers in there. $8.95 for the salt jar. Okay. That's it. That's my haul for the week. What was your favorite item? I think mine, goodness, the giraffe is up there for sure, even though I'm not like the biggest giraffe fan in the world. And then I, I really, really love these. These are just like speaking to me. <laughs> okay, y'all stay tuned this week. Let's talk about things real quick. Be sure to follow and subscribe if you haven't. Um, check me out on all the other social media platforms. They're down in the description box. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, and whatnot. Whatnot has been so much fun. I'm doing a live sale every Thursday or live auction, I should say, every Thursday over on whatnot at noon central standard time. It's been so much fun. I've been doing dollar start sales. So everything starts at just a dollar and you can bid back and forth live 
real-time action. It's a lot of fun. So be sure you're following me over there. For the Love of Junk weekend is next weekend. If you live close, you could still buy a ticket. There's just a couple of left. We've got a couple of seats left. Um, obviously, it might be a little late to schedule flights and, you know, hotel stays. But if you are local, there are payment options. Those tickets are for sale on my website as well. Um, what else? Edited video of Tuesday. I'll be live more again on Facebook this week. Really still trying to get those live watch minutes up. And they've doubled since I started trying. So that's good. I just need to be going live more. So anyways, thank y'all so much. If you have time to hop over on Facebook and maybe just let some of my live videos run in the background while you're cleaning the house this weekend or something, I would really, really appreciate it. Again, thank you guys for the support. You can shop all of my finds, upcycledbybree.com, and I will see you next week. Well, it'll be pre-recorded, but I'll be here. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>